Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today, we're going to be talking through the Nostalgia emulator. So, setting up your Mattel Intellivision system. So, get ready. So first things first, we're going to go to our Rocket Launcher folder, uh, looking at your modules and then Nostalgia. Uh, what I tend to do is I take a look at the auto hotkey uh, just to kind of see what the systems uh, are supported as well as the link to the emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Nostalgia uh, auto hotkey. You're going to see here uh, the system is uh, only supported by the Mattel Intellivision. And here's the URL to the emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that up. And then close out these windows. And there you are. So uh, here is the link. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom. And it looks like version 5.0 is the latest version that the auto hotkey supports. And we're just going to download that uh, download version 5.0. So once you've done that, what you're going to do is uh, just to follow the theme, you're going to create uh, an emulators folder if you haven't already. And you are going to uh, essentially create a folder for Intellivision or uh, Nostalgia, whatever uh, the naming convention you'd like it to use. Um, I, I kind of went back and forth on the name of the folders, but it, it doesn't matter because Rocket Launcher does uh, all the work for you. So. Uh, once you've uh, created that folder, you're going to extract the file that you just downloaded. And you're going to see a, a number of files that uh, pop up here. Uh, a couple things that you will have to uh, end up finding are uh, the uh, BIOS, which I'm just going to jump to Rocket Launcher UI real fast so you can see the note. Uh, when I press Nostalgia Auto Hotkey and I click the little uh, pinned up paper, I see the note from Rocket Launcher that I need to place the XE bin and the groom bin ROMs in the MU director uncompressed. So in that folder that you just unzipped, uh, you will need to find those uh, X bin and uh, groom bin, and you're going to just drop those uh, uh, bins in that folder. It also says if you have a uh, ECS bin and IntelliVoice bin, uh, place them in there too. And uh, yeah, uh, you'll just kind of have to Google those if uh, the package doesn't include those. And it also talks about if you receive any sort of nagging pop ups uh, on how to fix that. So I don't recall running into that, but the notes are there in case you uh, uh, need to get around it. And uh, also, it talks about where. Uh, your configuration is stored uh, in the registry. Again, that's another item that I had not had to play with. So uh, we'll just kind of walk you through uh, my experience here. So I'm going to go and close this uh, pop up here. We're going to get down to business. So first things first, uh, like you guys have uh, already realized, uh, my first step is always going to HyperHQ because we need our media folders. So you're going to click Main Menu Wizard and push, push the plus sign, and you're going to select the uh, Use Subwheel selection. It's going to congratulate you, and you are then going to go to the Wheel Settings tab, and you'll select Mattel Intellivision. Um, you know, you will have to type in the, the name of your system when you are adding it using that plus sign, and you just type in Mattel uh, Space Intellivision. Uh, so now that you've selected this wheel settings uh, system name, you're going to make sure that everything looks the same. So I've got execution to hyper launch disabled for PC games. I've got enabled for the uh, path to the games and the search subfolders I've got set to disabled. And I've got hidden win state. The extensions I've got uh, are INT, and this is uh, specifically helpful for uh, your hyper XML spin. Uh, if you choose to use playlists. So, uh, yep, and everything else is uh, default here, the HyperLaunch XE, Mattel Intellivision, and game name. You will have to use the uh, executable path to your 
uh, Nostalgia XE that you just downloaded in your game path. You'll also select by clicking these folders here. And we're gonna move on to these other tabs that are mostly default. But since I have uh, customized my system a bit, I've got the alpha set to 0.15, so you can see sort of the fade approach when it is uh, idle. And next we've got themes. Uh, as always, uh, everyone really should have this uh, animate out default themes as well as reload backgrounds just so your themes actually show up when they should. So uh, it's a good idea to do that. Next we got video, sound, all that's default. Special art, I've got special artwork that displays at the bottom of uh, the, the uh, monitor as well as in the top right. I've got uh, genre art, so I've got all three enabled and I've got the location relative to those uh, pieces of artwork that I have. And you've got Intellivision set up in Hyper HQ. So we're gonna move along here by closing out this window. Then we're gonna to go to Rocket Launcher UI. So uh, since we don't have this system set up yet, we're gonna to go to the Global tab and we're going to Emulators. And you're gonna scroll down to Nostalgia. And if it's not there, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you'll pl push the plus sign and then you're going to uh, see something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and double click this row here. And you'll have to type in nostalgia. You'll have to select the path, which uh, if you're uh, caught up with me, uh, you'll have to select the path anyway. And you'll just point it to the nostalgia XE that you just uh, unzipped. The ROM extensions are 7Z, pipe bin, pipe INT, pipe ROM, pipe zip. In the module is Nostalgia Auto Hotkey. So we're gonna go ahead and close that out and it's gonna save our changes. And we're gonna move on to actually setting it up in our uh, system here. So we're done with the global settings here. We're gonna scroll down to uh, Mattel Intellivision. And we've got a couple tabs here that we just gotta look at. So the settings tab, we're just gonna make sure that everything looks normal here. Everything's set to use global settings, so that's good. If you guys haven't seen my Rocket Launcher uh, setup yet, uh, it's a three-part series. Uh, I know it's a long one, but it is uh, important. And uh, you'll see all of my use global uh, settings uh, during that setup. So looks like everything's uh, global and it's uh, skip checks is set to false. So we're gonna move on to our fade general tab. Looks like everything's set to default, so that is good there. And then we're gonna look at bezels, and that looks like everything's set to default. So we're good there. So we're gonna move on to the emulator tab. And all you guys have to do is go to the default emulator, select Nostalgia by clicking this magnifying glass, and you'll select Nostalgia. Now, I, I know the popularity for RetroArch um, is increasing and, you know, it, it has its own right to, uh, you know, be so popular. So um, I will do a later tutorial on uh, RetroArch, but in, in general, uh, it basically uh, is an emulator that borrows the cores for all of these systems. So uh, it's basically a one-stop shop. Uh, it, it still is kind of convoluted, if you ask me, uh, you know, messing with the... Uh, different controls and uh, different cores, but um, I do have a couple systems that are uh, using that. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you know, these tutorials that I'm showing you isn't the end all be all. There's many options to emulation and uh, I'm just showing you one route and it's, uh, you know, most likely the easiest route. Because uh, you know, I, you know, I don't like, uh, you know, always going through the, uh, Nitty gritty for something that I can achieve the uh, the same uh, end results. So, uh, yep, I use nostalgia. I'm gonna go and close that out. And then we've got uh, the game path. You're gonna select where you've uh, put your games at, and we're gonna move on. So the modules tab, just like what you saw before at the beginning of the video. I uh, click on nostalgia. Click on the little notes to see if there's anything that I need to be aware of and we've already kind of talked through that. Uh, also, if you click on the edit module settings, this little uh, orange header paper, looks like the only extra settings we've got is full screen and mine's set to default. 
And there you have it, guys. So you've set up uh, Mattel and Television and uh, uh, Rocket Launcher UI as well as Hyper HQ. So let's go ahead and uh, finish the deal here and let's uh, actually set up the emulator itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click Nostalgia and uh, Launch Emulator. And it has not... Okay, so I've noticed that this sometimes uh, appears. And it, it's only when I'm actually testing it through... Uh, Rocket Launcher UI, but um, you, you can see, I mean, there, there's, the scans already happen. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but um, maybe we'll find out when we uh, go through these options. So here's Nostalgia, and we're just going to go to File here. Looks like uh, everything's good there. We're going to, so rescan uh, directory, you don't need to do that because, uh, well, you'll, you'll do that after you've set this up uh, the first time. So we're going to go down to settings under tools and then you're, you're just going to path all of these uh, uh, folders here. So uh, within that uh, Intellivision or uh, Nostalgia uh, folder that you created and you unzipped your uh, files, you're going to find a couple of folders. So go ahead and uh, uh, path each one of these and uh, you know where you put your games and uh, then the overlays. There's an actual folder in the emulators folder in television, uh, your game manuals, and uh, save states. So all of these folders come default when you unzip that uh, file. And then your screen captures. Outside of that, uh, let's see if there's any other uh, nagging uh, notifications I can turn off here. It doesn't look like it. So uh, I've got everything set here to uh, to true, hide main menu or main window, auto uh, frame rate, enable sound and PNG format for screenshots. Also for um, ECS, so that bin file that you were looking at, if the game requires it, use it. And Intello Voice, if the game requires it, use it. Uh, so that's all there is to it for the settings themselves. And then we're going to go to the controller figure, uh, configuration. And you're going to see a number of tabs uh, for the number of players and the key, uh, the game keys. So uh, let's see. The only thing that I, I feel like I, I really care about is the save state by pushing F5. And, uh, you know, everything else is set to uh, Rocket Launcher's uh, standards. So uh, meaning when you close the game, you push your... Uh, close hotkey that you've set up or escape so um, you, you can use whatever you want here but rocket launcher is going to ultimately override it because it does a force quit on it so um, that is my game keys tab and then we've got our player one uh, keys so I, i've used my standard uh, keys to uh, set this up you're going to notice there's a lot more buttons on this uh, doohickey here and uh, you'll just kind of have to play with that uh, outside of your normal keys. Uh, so we've got uh, keys 0 through 9 and then the directions and then we've got sort of these uh, you know disc games so using the sort of dial here and you'll kind of have to play around with uh, what works best for you but as you can see this is what worked best for me and uh, yep I'll just kind of make sure you guys can see it so I don't bore you guys and uh, you know, just read what's on the screen here. Um, and how you change it is you just double click that field and then you type in the, uh, the item. If you have an Amtrak uh, controller, uh, I've got uh, this set to my second controller. And uh, yep, so we're gonna move on to player two. Same sort of thing, just so you guys can see what I've got this set up as. I'm gonna scroll on down. There we go. Player three and player four I don't have set up because, uh, let's be honest, uh, you know, there aren't usually four players playing Mattel in television, but maybe there are. I'm sure there's, you know, that person out there that's saying, hey, wait a minute. Uh, so I do apologize. You know, it's a, a great system. So uh, we're going to close that out. Hit uh, cancel there. But Well, for you, you'll hit OK. And uh, you've got uh, Nostalgia uh, completed. So go ahead and push the rescan uh, directory uh, after you've got everything set up and uh, you're on your way. So 
uh, there's nothing else uh, to it, guys. And uh, yeah, hope this helps and we'll catch you next time. All right.